Okay, my friends, it's Earth Day, and I am going to repost this video that's coming right after my initial statements here that I did in 2015. This is the video. It's called The Earth is Alive, Completely Living and in Trouble. And it is, and it's in terrible trouble right now. I worked, not worked with, but I spoke to the Russians. They contacted me about my sinkhole research, which you'll see in this. Back in 2015, they had these craters appearing in, in one of their peninsulas. And I talked to him about it, and, and I said, there's not much you're going to be able to do about it, and there isn't. And these are living, this was their, here it is according to whoever it was. I, anyway, this is where their big craters are showing up, and now it's just littered with them. And they are absolutely biological. And this is a dive through a blue hole which it, it actually has mucus and everything. They go down into the digestive area, and they have when it, when the digestive juices come out, it's like a haline cloud. See, and it's so toxic that it it it's a poop. It's actually pooping at this point, and it's so you see the the cloud here, and that's on the when the tide goes out, it brings all the poop out, and it actually has mucus that covers all of the um, the coral to protect it from being eaten up by these ca caustic acids and so forth. Now, there's something changing in that digestive system of the earth. This is the digestive system right here. That's the clean water, and this is the hal halicon cloud or whatever they call it. It's almost totally salts and, and toxic stuff, and that's what washes out on the outgoing tide. We got a lot of thinking to do. Anyway, here comes the video I did in 2015. And again, I talked to the Russians, and I'm going to tell you something right now. I am so disappointed with the Russians for doing what they're doing. I can't even believe that they are doing what they're doing. I thought they were very good people when I worked with them. To, I didn't really work with them, but I had interactions with them. They were very nice, and, and they were, they were out-of-the-box thinkers like I am. They were able to speak to me in a, in a way that... I felt kind of respected, to be perfectly honest with you. I was, I was amazed. But anyway, this has to end in this Ukraine. It's going to end one way or the other. Tomorrow, the next day, next week, five years, ten years, a hundred years. It's going to end. Let's just stop it now. And let's try to fix the earth. The earth is what we got. really got the problem with. I don't care who wins the war. I mean, I do care. I just like to see everything go back to nobody killing and violence and hatred and all this. The things I'm hearing just make me sick to my stomach. Sick to my stomach. I'm sorry. All right. All creatures have tendon anthesis, which is the anchors that hold in the little straps, you see them? <clears throat> They're all over your body, primarily in joints and so forth, but you also have them on flat <clears throat> muscles in your abdomen and so forth. Now, when they get ripped out, they, they hurt like hell, because <laughs> I, I got that issue right now. However, when they petrify, they turn solid, the balls, and they break right off right at the tops of them, at, at the anthesis. Now, let me show you that right now. Okay, Earth Day 2022, the reason I'm making this video is because they're talking about investing in our planet. You have to understand the planet was or is still alive because investing in it is wonderful, but until you realize that you're dealing with a creature, not a bunch of rocks. That's the problem. And so I did this video six, oh, seven years ago, I guess it was, uh, about the earth being absolutely alive. And I did nine videos in a series showing bubbling methane gases, all the, car the destruction of the earth, and a, the climate change it was just, I mean, just absolutely undeniable. Then, and now they're just starting to realize, you know, we were really, really screwed. So here goes another video I did long ago. Nobody paid attention then. They better do something now because if we don't get free energy with electricity, and I mean the kind of electricity I'm talking about. I'm not talking about burning something to make, you know, something. Then you get electricity. No, I'm talking about to converting light into electricity. That is what we need to do and, and get free energy, no more combustion, no more expanding the gases in our envelope and scrubbing the, the atmosphere we scrub through as we spin. That's where the heat is, 2,700 degrees at our outermost edge. 
which is called the ionosphere and the uh, thermosphere out there where it scrubs. It's scrubbing. It's scrubbing electron to electron, just like you scrub your hands back and forth together and you're going to have hot. It's exactly what's going on. And the higher we scrub it out there, which is the ga expansion gases, the harder it scrubs. And it, and it feeds on itself. The harder it scrubs, the hotter it gets. The hotter it gets, the harder it scrubs. The hotter it scrubs, the bigger it gets. This is our problem. Now, here's the video I did seven years ago trying to explain why we're in such trouble. Very, very relevant. And I was, I tried my best to be, to defer to all the authorities. I thought, boys, they're going to jump right on this as soon as they hear this. I can get out of the way and let them take over. No, did not happen. Okay, my friends, check this out. Now, that is a tendon anthesis. It's a round ball, and it has this attachment that snaps right off. And they have a couple of little stalks going into them, which is your red and black blood. There's one right there in the microscope. And the microscope is quite a ways off. We're looking at the top of it, which is the little divot there. And it's I'll show you in the microscope in a second. Now, just looking at it like that, you don't see anything. And up in the microscope, you still don't see anything. You see it? I'm up in the microscope now. All right, you can see the little cavity there. And you might see a little central core there, but you really don't see enough to make a good determination of what you're looking at. However, when I put a little water on there, watch what happens. And the lighting is, is an enormous factor, too. So I'm going to turn this light off. I'm going to put a little taste of water on there. Now, if we just watch what happens, you're going to see there's a black and a red side to this. And that's, that's the way blood, blood is. There's a black, which is the vein blood, and there's the red, which is the arterial side. Now, let me just scoop up a little of this moisture, save some time. Now, you can see it right there. It's very, very evident. That, my friends is the vein and that my friends is the artery now let me see if i can home in on this a little better we're going to vary the light and see if we can make a better look to it but you can see this is the red that's the black now let me turn up the light a little bit this of course is the snapped off part and that's divided out, and that, that's where the red blood is coming out, and that's where the black blood is coming out. And that was the two places I showed you down here, and that's exactly how they break, they're exactly like that. No difference whatsoever. And as it's drying up, you can see better and better the holes and the colors. Let me come up with a little more color. You see the red when you get down into the really low frequencies of light? You can see the red much better and the black much better. It's pretty obvious there. Okay, so get ready. This is what I posted back in um, August of 2015. And it was from my old channel and I removed it now to the new channel. And uh, here it comes. This is what the, the Earth is, was alive, completely alive, and in trouble then, and in terrible trouble now. Yeah, hello. Um, I'm coming to you today with um, some information that I stumbled across. I, I'm not an expert in anything. I, I study fossils and deep Earth geology and, uh, you know, how petroleum is uh, sublimated out and the, the processes of the transitions of rocks and things like that in the earth. It's just sort of boring stuff. But I found some very, very interesting stuff. And as a result of that, I started to investigate how the earth is creating these things and what these things are and so forth. And what you see here are blue holes. And these blue holes are all over the earth. And those holes, I've come to find out, and I have the supporting evidence, and I'm, I'm sure it's correct. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd certainly like to have it see, looked at. It could, it could be wrong, but I'd like to see somebody come up with a contradictory factual disagreement. And if it is right, it, it, it becomes 
critically important. Now, these holes, I believe, are the digesters for the earth. Those are the things that feed the earth, and, I, and the earth, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is alive. <laughs> I know, it sounds crazy. I sound like I'm, I'm way out there, but I have literal physical evidence to show that the earth is alive. And these holes digest food. I'm going to show you uh, um, dives where they go right through, and it's identical to uh, you know a digestive system. Now, these are what's happening in Florida and Russia. These are those blue holes dying. Now, these were underneath the tundra, and they weren't seen, but they still are the digesters. Now, as the tundra recedes, it's just caving in because the digesters are dying. Methane gas is coming up from the decomposition of the earth, of the life of the earth, is what I'm saying. Now, this may not be, you know, don't panic. I mean, nobody's going to even pay attention probably, but certainly you wouldn't panic about this because we don't know. We don't know what's going on there. But um, there's, there's the ones in Florida are virtually identical to this, virtually identical, and they're gigantic. And this is happening all over the place. And, and they're very bizarre formations. Look at these holes here. That is vascular entries into the earth from the digester or the other way around, I'm not sure, but they're vascular entries. And this exact same structure is seen elsewhere. And I will show you that. And it's uh, and it's, it's hard to overlook, and if it is true, it's something that needs to be looked at. It may not be anything, it may be something. This is in the, the Florida sinkholes, and they call them sinkholes, but look at that. That is exactly circular. These things don't, they're not like cracks and, and divots and things like that. Look at that thing. These are houses around there. This was a living blue hole. A life was under there at some point, and now it's 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 collapsing. Now, I have a theory that the reason these things are collapsing is that we've taken so much stuff out of the earth. Something has to give somewhere, and I believe that's what's going on here. Now, is that killing the earth? I, and I, I have almost absolute unimpeachable evidence that the earth is alive. I right, look at the structures in this, the stripes, the different dark and light stripes, and the uh, oxides, the red oxides up in there and everything. Now, now look at this. This is the same material, and this is on Mars. And look at what's in that material. You see what's up there, that space crab? That's coming out from this rock up here. And I'm saying, and I'm going to show you in my videos, that this is a vascular entryway, and this is arterial vessels that are supplying blood to this tissue, which is muscular tissue. This red stuff, all that dust, is iron oxide from the blood that has dried. Mars is dead, and you should see the pictures in here. Go to this site, Journey to the Mars, of uh, to Journey to the surface of the Mars. It will blow you away. They have all kinds of pictures of pyramids and skulls and there's absolutely no question it was alive. I think it was is dead now. Anyway, this is my statements and we need to look at what we have here on Mother Earth because we don't want to go this way. So that's the case. Alright, you've seen the space crab. My statement is is that if this hole was tipped sideways and all of this eroded away from that hole, you would still see these vascularization tubes sticking out, and that's what's happened in that crab. All right, this is a little concerning. Twenty baby craters just started popping up near the, uh, the giant craters in Siberia. This is the area in Siberia that's, um, that's having this issue right now. All right, this is an article by uh, Brianne Kirby, very, very nicely done. And she is exploring in a dive in a blue hole. And she says, I'd imagine that I was a tiny mi micro moving through the gut of some impossibly large and fantastic beast, because she really literally was. And then she goes on to thinking of the specific topology of the blue hole 
uh, specific topology of the human gastrointestinal system, the mouth to the anus. Now, I have all of this stuff documented, and I have all of this stuff on other videos. I have nine videos that I'm explaining this, and I'm explaining the foliations of the earth, the fabric of the earth. The earth is alive, and, and, and there's virtually no question about it. So, something's got to be looked at. This is a deep hole, a deep blue hole dive by Jonathan Bird. Uh, Jonathan Bird's Blue World, very, very good, very good guy. And excellent on um, public TV. And here he goes, listen carefully. The bottom looks like it's sand, but it's actually a deep layer of silt. While Tim hovers high above the bottom to keep from kicking up silt, I perform a little experiment. Listen Down to this. on the bottom, I plunge my arm this into is the what our mother up to my eating. shoulder, and it's even deeper than that. This is a layer of decomposing leaves and other organic stuff. The decomposition creates hydrogen sulfide, a Digestive deadly gas juice. that smells like rotting eggs. The water is saturated with hydrogen sulfide, and I can smell it in the water that seeps around the edge of my mask. We all know that smell. Alright, this is the final part I'm going to show you blue about. Hole connects through a vast labyrinth of caves that is to the a digestive blue system. And as we emerge into the open ocean, something looks weird. When the tide goes out, all the water from inside the caves gets sucked out into the ocean, bringing Poop. with it silt and hydrogen sulfide from the inland blue holes. Poop. It forms clouds near the bottom with a distinct line between the clear ocean water above and the silty hydrogen sulfide layer below. Check out the mucus what from you're mucus seeing memory. Here are the decomposing remains of forest vegetation which have passed entirely <clears throat> through the caves and out into the ocean. Sounds like the justice system to me. Everywhere I look like strands of mucus floating in the water. Same it's stuff in ours. It's likely mucus secreted by the coral in response to the caustic hydrogen sulfide. No, it isn't. It's stuck on everything, including this gorgonian, which has closed all its polyps to protect itself from the hydrogen sulfide. As the tide carries the toxic water away, the corals will go back to normal. Finally, we head back to the boat. Tim and Mike That's Mother Earth the anchor line.